Hey everybody, Preston Poulter here with Pocket Jacks Comics, and it's yet another day where comic book news is spilling over into politics, or politics is spilling over into comic book news, however you want to look at it. But Facebook has issued a temporary three-day ban on political cartoonist and former Marvel Comics artist Mike Harris for putting up this cartoon right here. So, the interesting thing, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, all right, let, so first, let's, let's look at the cartoon. I, I mean, it's spicy, right? But it's, it's making a very valid point. Uh, I mean, on what basis would you censor this? Is it hate speech? Who is it hating against? Right? <laughs> it's simply making a pro-life argument. I mean, not that altogether unusual. Yes? So... What's the fuss? Uh, and there are a number of critics of Facebook and Twitter for having a left-leaning political bias, and this is feeding right into that. And they're specifically targeting Mr. Harris, by the way. Uh, other people have shared this exact same cartoon to Facebook, no problems. But Mike Harris, he posted it to his artist page, and then they, they took down the post, and then it kind of got, it escalated into war. Then he shares it on his personal page. And then Facebook issues a three-day temporary ban just to him. Other people sharing his cartoon, totally fine. Mike Harris, boom. Like, they, they give him a spanking. Like, how dare you share political content on a medium where that should be allowed, right? I mean, like, look, let's, let's go back to the days of the political cartoon. Like, the late 1800s, where you had newspapers who have a political bias, distinctly unlike modern day where newspapers are, you know, free of that, as that was just the dark ages. But you would have newspapers that would have a political bias and they would put out political cartoons that would favor their particular, you know, political slant. And this cartoon is, is right there, right? This is favoring a particular political slant. So if this were published in a conservative paper, National Review, for instance the audience should respond well. But now we got social media where really it should be about everybody able to gather their own audience and publish to their own audience, and Facebook is like, uh-uh. Okay. Um, you know, like, look, as a libertarian, I'm like, well, we shouldn't really be telling private institutions what to do. Uh, we should instead allow for competing platforms to uh, to exist and just kind of frequent those. But... There are other people who are making the argument that, well, one, for instance, Silicon Valley tends to be rather left-leaning, and they are getting together uh, at social gatherings and whatnot and kind of comparing notes, and they do seem to be acting in concert, like we saw with, say, you know, the banning of Alex Jones, where you're like all these different companies just came out and said no at the same time. Or the banning of Laura Loomer, where Laura Loomer's been banned from so many different platforms. She can't even use Uber. She can't travel from one place in the city to another place in the city, right? Because <laughs> of hate speech. <laughs> it's just, you've got this, this wall of social justice-minded CEOs in Silicon Valley that are just like, mm, and this is your latest culprit now. Being a Texan, I, I do want to bring up that certain states, and also I visit California, spend a lot of time there. California, Texas, and Florida have introduced at a state level uh, legal laws that will ban social media or stop social media platforms. Essentially, the laws say if you want to be a social media platform operating in the state of California, Texas, and Florida, you can't do things like this. I don't believe those laws have been passed yet, but we will. It'll be interesting to see what kind of input they, they have or impact they have. Facebook is uh, undergoing kind of its own internal review. I was happy to see a friend of mine, very outspoken libertarian, uh, you know, virulent anti-socialist, because he, he was from the Eastern, he lived under communism, you know, like he, he just looks at modern people who, who argue for it, like, mm -hmm, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, he posted to his Facebook that uh, Facebook itself is, is, is using him as a consultant on political speech, and I'm sure, I'm, I'm going to be curious to see what he has to say about this. So, uh, anyway, that is in the news. I uh, thought I would share that, thought it would be of interest. By the way, my comic book, White Lily Issue 3, is up on Kickstarter right now. There's a link down in the description. It has one week left. We are 75% of the way to our goal. 
I would encourage everyone to back that. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.